Hello people out there, my name is Kio and I'm going to build a small Apollo server today. This app is going to be a to-do list application because simple to understand and honestly it really does not matter what you are building. Uh, what matters is how you are building it and you're here to learn the concepts of, of Apollo server and um, basic project setup. So yeah, let's start. And also forgot to mention, I'm going to do it with TypeScript. Uh, so people that hate TypeScript, guys, you should do TypeScript because it's, it is better. It is uh, more efficient for development. You will, you will find your bugs, bugs faster. And I like to work with TypeScript. So this is, the, this is the way to go on this channel. So get used to it, guys. So first, I am going to initialize the Node.js. I'm going to set up the, the Node package.json, which we are creating with this command here. And we also going to install uh, TypeScript. Um, as a development dependency, we are going to install Node type types for no we are going to initialize the typescript config file and uh, so this is done by typescript init we created the default typescript file config file which we are going to edit in a moment so i am using node.js 16 on my local machine as you can see here so I'm going to also uh, install this package here, which is called uh, Node 16. It's from TS Config, uh, and this is this will give me the basic configuration for Node.js um, TypeScript application. So I'm going to install this as well, and I'm going to edit TS Config JSON file with the schema here. If you go to npm type uh, ts config node uh, 16 uh, registry uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see this package json file uh, sorry uh, ts config file uh, which you can copy and uh, paste in your in your file in your project we are also going to um, add basic project structure here so uh, for typescript we are saying that uh, the TypeScript should compile all the files which can be found in in the source directory, and we are excluding node modules directory uh, and, for example, specification TypeScript files and tests. Obviously, if we have one, uh, some, maybe in the future we can build some tests. Um, it's also an interesting topic, and it's also very important if you build. Uh, real real applications. The next step is to set up a live server for our application so that you can uh, edit your code and see the changes in real time. So let's let's install Nodemon uh, Node and TS Node for that. TS Node is a package which helps you to um, execute TypeScript files on Node.js directly. Uh, because normally you have to compile it in in JavaScript and then execute it with the uh, with the node command. In order to detect live changes in our code base, we are we have to um, create this file configuration file which is called node.json, and here we need to define an executable map, and inside of it we have to map the TypeScript uh, extension with the with our uh, TS node executable so that Nodemon, Nodemon knows okay, this TypeScript files has to be executed with the TS, TS uh, node executable. So now, guys, we can actually jump into the development and um, write some code. So, for that, we going to um, create an index uh, TypeScript file. Um, where we define our type definitions for our GraphQL schema. 
As you can see, we have one type which is called todos with ID, title, and completed. We have a type query which contains two queries. Um, first is todos, which uh, returns obviously todos, a list of todos, uh, and a to do query which takes an ID and returns a to do. We are going to define a TypeScript to do type. We define a to do's uh, variable which, con which holds uh, dummy data for us. Okay. This to do's variable you could think of it's, it's representing our database basically. Um, so this is where we store our data. You ob obviously never store your data as a <laughs> uh, local variable in your server. Um, yeah, it's not, not, not a good idea because once your server crashes or something happens, um, yeah, the data will be gone, so you don't want that. So here we define our resolvers um, where we resolve the data. So now we want to basically import our Apollo server, which we haven't installed yet. So for that we need um obviously with yarn because you're working with yarn um we need two packages first is apollo server and the second is graphql and we are going to install once we install them there is uh, no more red lines here so let's initialize our server so now we initialize our server and we are going to start it now we have written code um, that is enough to run the server and uh, let's test if it works. Um, first is dev and this is going to be nodemon <coughs> and source index.ts and the second is start and this is going to be typescript and node dot output folder index.js so this basically the start script basically compiles typescript into javascript and it runs uh, the node command to start an index file uh, and this alt uh, comes from ts config obviously um, which is not defined yet but we are going to define it uh, out directory out. Let's start the server. For that, we execute yarn dev. And voila, the server is running. So now, if you open localhost 4000, you are going to see the screen. This is a studio sandbox. It helps you with uh, local development. It basically loads GraphQL scheme server schema via introspection. What we are going to do now, we are going to query to do's from our server and test if it actually works. And voila, it works. We are getting the data. Um, which contains to do's and this is our list dummy data from our server let's also test the to do query for that we are going to select to do select the arguments id we are going to select all the fields and as a to do id i'm gonna pass one and as you can see it works we are getting a to do with the id of one Thanks for watching guys, um, this video was super spontaneous, so uh, let me know if I should dive deep into it. Um, maybe as the next, next steps I would um, actually use a GraphQL schema generation tool for uh, type generations. So you would basically have your resolver types and your schema types generated by, by this tool. Also, loading resolvers and type definitions from external files. So we would define resolver files and uh, schema um, schema files, GraphQL files, which we would load into our server. Also, 
fetching data from external servers because obviously uh, in the real world nobody um, defines their data in the server uh, it's obviously it was obviously for testing purposes today and let me know if you want to want me to implement database as well and uh, maybe error handling or something something else let me know guys what you want to see uh, for the next tutorial quickly also guys uh, I know my audio and video quality is shitty but um, once I see that people are interested in my videos I'm gonna um, buy new equipment.